being here. Um, I'm so excited for um, our team call this week. It is, what is it, Thursday the 19th? Is it the 20th? I can't even remember what day it is. It's Thursday. This is the Team Fit Revolution weekly call. And this week, we've got an extra special guest speaker on the call tonight. Um, Josh Coates, who is a member of the John Maxwell leadership team. Um, he is someone that I've been working with as my mentor over the last couple of months now. And I know a lot of you have worked with Josh or maybe have been a part of one of his trainings. Um, he is a wealth of knowledge and I feel like just really puts a lot of perspective into our business from um, an outside point of view. And it's really, it's just, it's a great perspective to have. So I'm really excited because tonight he's going to be sharing with you um, some of his words of advice, wisdom, tips on creating momentum going into the new year. So 2016, our New Year's resolutions, it's always a big time for our business. Yeah. Um, that's when people are really ready to make a change in their mind. We don't have to kind of course them to be ready. So it is an amazing opportunity for you to take your business to the next level. Um, but you got to make sure that you're thinking about that now if that's something you want to do. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself and hand it over to you, Josh. Are we, are you spotlighted? Are you good? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it so much. Thank you everybody for getting on here tonight. Um, Lauren is someone that I have been bothering for months and she uh, finally started talking to me because she finally got off the road for a minute to be able to have a call with me. But Lauren, seriously, uh, all jokes aside, uh, absolutely love this girl. Um, meeting her in Seattle a couple weeks ago. Oh gosh, I guess, I don't know. I don't even know how long ago that was now. Time's like flown by since then was just like amazing. Um, for those of you that have never met Lauren in person, she is one of the sweetest and kindest people like that I've ever met. Seriously. I'm um, not saying that to butter up because she's on the call. I think I gave her like five hugs before I left because I did not want to tell her goodbye. Um, absolutely love this girl. So, you know, I know sometimes like we're all over the country. We only see each other like shoulder up on Facebook profile pictures and, and Zooms. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys how awesome Lauren is and how much she really, really cares about you. Um, anytime someone is willing to pay money to get leadership training, it shows how much they care about their team. Let's face it, she could have hired a sales expert. She could have hired a branding expert. But anytime someone hires a leadership expert, that means I care about being better for the sake of my team. And so anytime someone does that, it should be, I mean, just automatic to you of like, holy crap, this person really cares about their team. And, and I would just say that about Lauren. She genuinely cares about people. And, and I love that about her. And that's, that's why I love working with her. Um, that's why I love working with Beachbody because I really feel like so many of you really care about people. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, guys. It's all about people. And um, I know some cool sales tricks. I know some cool, maybe a little bit of branding. I don't know. Um, I don't know that I do a great job of it myself, but I'm pretty good at critiquing other people's brands sometimes. But none of that matters if it's not about people. It's all about people, right? And that's why you signed up for this business because you wanted to help people. So tonight I'm going to help you to help more people, okay? Tonight's not necessarily like a leadership specific topic. Um, it's about building momentum for the new year. So tonight, I want to give you guys a magical formula. Don't you guys love magical formulas? Like, wouldn't it be great if everything in life could be given to us in a secret pill? What if I told you you could lose 100 pounds by tomorrow if you took my secret pill? What if I told you you could make a million dollars tomorrow if you took my secret pill? Well, I want to give you the most secret pill that I've ever found. I, I promise it's going to blow your mind. You guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've never heard this before because I literally have a magic pill for you guys. So let me give you a little background on my business um, because when I signed up on the John Maxwell team, basically I'm given access to his training, to his mentoring, you know, that we have like two calls a week. Kind of like your guys' team calls, except like we'd be listening to John Maxwell. 
or one of his like five or six people that he handpicked to train us on different topics from coaching to leadership to um, speaking to sales. Okay. And so, but I had to build my business from scratch. They don't give you leads. They don't give you customers. They don't say, Hey, here's a hundred people that really like John Maxwell. Give them a call. Like, I mean, you literally just have to build it from scratch. Okay. So when I first started my business, I read the book. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. It's one of John Maxwell's books. My whole life, I'd been, a, I'd been afraid to fail, okay? I grew up playing sports my whole life, so I don't like to lose. Like, nobody plays sports and says, all right, guys, we're going to go out tonight and see how bad we can get beat. Now, to be honest, that's usually what happened with my team, but that was never the goal. Like, we actually wanted to win. It just never, ever, ever happened. I come from a, a town where we were just awful at sports, just terrible, um, so anyways, when I started my business, I still, I still had that fear of failing. Like I wanted to be good. And I wanted to be good now, not later, not a year down the road. I want to be good like today. But then I read that book and what the book said was that every single time you do something in life, you either fail or you're given an opportunity to learn. And I thought, that's stupid. You either, you, either, you either win or you lose. Like, you don't win or learn. Like, no. Like, you, like you're, if you don't win, you're a loser. Like, that's the way we think of it here in America. I'm sure Canada is very similar. I'm sure you – I know you guys get competitive with your hockey. Um, so, I, I'm sorry. I like to tease Canada. I love you guys. You guys are good stuff too, I promise. But in life, we think that we either win or we lose. So, let's face it. If you don't hit SC5, you feel like you lose. If you don't rank advance, you feel like you lose. Because if you don't win, you lose, right? But this book put everything into a different perspective for me. There really is no such thing as losing. Because every time you don't win, you learned one way to not do it right, right? If you fail, you're not necessarily failing unless you just stop. That's the only failure there is, is just stopping. But every single time in my business, I would try something. If it didn't work, all I did was learn one more way that it doesn't work, which gets me one step closer to it actually working. So I read that book, literally was just mind blown. And I got over my stupid fear of failure. And I said, I'm going to spin. I literally made it my goal last year, okay? My, whole, my goal for all of 2014 was to fall on my face as many times as I possibly could so that I could learn enough lessons to hopefully figure out what the heck to actually do, okay? So, 2014, guess what I did? I met my goal really well. I failed over and over and over and over. For those of you that have heard my story, you've heard me say in my entire first year, I signed two clients. Now, that's one person every six months. Some of you think you're struggling. You think, I haven't, S I haven't hit SC in like three months. Yeah, that's cool. I made one sale every six months, okay? There's 365 days in a year, okay? I went 363 days that I heard the words no. That's a lot of times to hear the, like, can you imagine hearing no 363 times out of 365 times? But honestly, I was talking to more than one person a day. So I actually probably heard no even more often than that. That's horrible, guys. It's just, I should have given up, right? But I had a new mentality. I wasn't actually losing. I was just learning. It's just another day to learn. Not to say that it was always like fun and that easy. I mean, there were some nights, sure, I cried myself to sleep and cuddled up with a teddy bear um, and a pint of ice cream. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Maybe the ice cream, but not the teddy bear or the crying. Um, but that's what, it was just my goal. I was going to freaking figure this out. And if that meant failing over and over and over and over and over, I didn't care. Because you know what my other option was? Detail cars the rest of my life. I mean, it seemed like a win-win situation to me. Like, even if it took me five years to figure this stupid thing out, I could spend the rest of my life doing whatever I wanted. And that's not so bad. Five years of falling on my face and figuring stuff out. I figured that was worst case scenario. Little did I know that literally it would only take a year and nine months before I could quit my job. You see, for an entire year, 
I did nothing but suck. But in doing so, found the magic formula that would eventually work for me. I found a magic pill, okay? And let me tell you what the magic pill was. Are you ready for it? Basically, I mean, it was just the whole first year was just a big experiment to try to figure out what actually does work. And this is what I found did work. And once I found this, this is when my business took off. Now, obviously, as most of you have heard, um, meeting Brittany Powers had a huge impact on that too. But I wouldn't have found Brittany Powers without the magic formula. Okay? So are you ready for the magic formula? Number one. I had, I absolutely had, if I was going to teach on personal development and on leadership development, I had to make sure that that was something I was doing in my own life. Number two, I absolutely had to have a social media presence and send out messages to people every single day offering them my service. And number three, I would have to continue to read personal development. Do you, know, do you want to know what the, the magic formula for success is? I'm telling you guys, this is a magic pill. It's called the three vital behaviors. The three vital behaviors was my magic pill. Now, at the time, I didn't know there was such thing as vital behaviors. I mean, that's really cool sounding, but I, I didn't know that was a thing. In an entire year of starting YouTube pages, um, gosh, putting on events, taking people out for coffee, putting on training groups. I mean, I tried every freaking thing that the John Maxwell team told me to do. Everything. And none of it worked until I decided to do the three vital behaviors. Now, some of the stuff that they told me to do at the beginning that sucked and didn't work, because I've done the three vital behaviors long enough, I've built up enough progress, I've built up enough momentum, and now enough people know my name that now I am going back to some of it and some of it is working. But some of you on this call, Yes, duh, the three vital behaviors. Isn't, wasn't that tricky? No one saw it coming, did you? Except for Lauren. She was like, I know where he's going. This, the three vital behaviors changed my life forever. And like I said, I didn't like copy it off of Beachbody. It was just the things that I found that worked. And to be honest, the number one thing that built my business more than anything else was sending out messages to people every single day. Do you want to know what the number one thing is that beach body coaches are not doing on a daily basis? I can tell you because I've talked to hundreds of you. The number one thing beach body coaches are not doing on a daily basis is sending out messages to people. Now, everyone likes to play on word swag, right? Everyone likes to play on Rona designs. Everybody likes to get on Canva and pick monkey. And if I were to go to most of your Facebook or Instagram pages right now, I would assume that pretty much all of you are very active in your business because you're really good about posting every day. Why? Because that's what everybody sees. Am I right? In fact, most of you are actually even pretty good about working out every day. Now, I know sometimes, you know, we have our ups and downs, but most of you are pretty good about working out every day. Why? Because if nobody sees a workout video of you, if nobody sees your pick play post for a couple days, they know what's going on, right? So you at least get that workout in so you can post that workout video and, you know, show people that you're working out. But here's the thing with messaging people is you could go five years without doing it and nobody would even know. And then you tell your upline coach in the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm doing everything you said. Every single day I'm working my business for like three hours and I'm just, I'm doing everything you said and I'm just not getting any results and I don't know why. But what you're not doing is you're not starting new convos. Or if you are starting new convos, what I'm starting to find is that some people are starting new convos, 
but they are forming people to death. So I don't know if you guys know what form stands for. I know you've probably heard it as like a little tagline, which really means like to create a relationship first. But what form actually stands for is family, occupation, recreation, message. And nine out of 10 of you are talking about their family, their occupation, their recreation, but you forgot about the message. You forgot to actually put in there, oh, by the way, I'm running a challenge group next week. Would you be interested in joining? Why aren't we doing that? Because what if they say no? You know what? I'm just going to be real honest here. I'd rather someone say no than talk about their dog for the next three years. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being real here. Because if someone says no, let's face it, we can move on to the next conversation. In fact, if someone says no, that should almost be a relief. Like, oh, thank God I don't have to talk to you for the next two months about your dog. That I mean, I, re I actually thought it was kind of an ugly dog, but I felt the need to tell you you had a really nice dog, right? I mean, do, do you guys not feel that way sometimes where you're just like, dude, I've been like talking to them about nothing for like three months. Okay, if you ever get to the point where you feel like you've been talking to someone too long, this is what I want you to do. Your very next message, just say, hey, I'm running a challenge group next week. Do you want to come? <clears throat> just like that. You know what? If it sounds salesy, who cares? What I found in my business is the only way to get one yes is to get 10 no's. That's it. The magic formula to making one sale is just to simply get 10 no's. For every 10 people that say no, one person's going to say yes. But some of you have 75 conversations going on and not a single no because you haven't even tried to pull the trigger. You haven't even tried to actually invite them to something. Here's the deal. If you are that scared, invite them to a free clean eating group. That's not salesy. I mean, when has someone invited you to do something for free and you got offended? Ever? Ever. Has anyone ever come up to you and said, hey, I got this free thing going on. Would you like to join me? Oh, they, you're just trying to sell me something. No one has. Come on. If the Girl Scouts showed up at my front door and offered me free cookies, I'm not going to be mad, right? But yet the Girl Scouts show up at my door all the time asking for money, and I still don't get offended. Those cookies are really good. Now, I know they're not in the 21-day fix. They're not in the fix eight, whatever. Those are some good cookies. I'll pay for that stuff any day. Not to mention those are some cute little girls, man. I want to help them out, right? Too many of you are worried about what people think of you, and we got eight-year-old girls that can go up to doors and ask people to buy something. That's kind of sad. An eight-year-old girl can pull the trigger better than most of you. Now, please, 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 I promise I'm not this mean, but sometimes I feel like I need to say some stuff because since I'm an outside voice, if you do get pissed and hate me, it's, it's okay because I'm just Josh. You know what I mean? Like Sometimes I feel like I need to give some real talk to people because you guys all, I know, need to hear this. I've talked to hundreds of you, and so I know what the main struggles are. I know what people are really going through. And I coach my clients to be a lot nicer than this. So I wanted to give a little real talk tonight because I know, here's the thing, January's coming up, guys. January has the potential to be the biggest year, the biggest month you have ever seen in your business. Do you know that our society has a certain way that they like to do things, which is why we only get one yes for every 10 people we talk to because society has said health is not important. Society has said you cannot spend $140 on shakes in the workout program. Now, if you want to spend 140 bucks on a purse, totally cool. Not on, not on being healthy. And it, no, that's not okay. Purse? Ooh, I like, I like that purse. $500? Mm, okay. Mm, healthy food? No, thank you. Society has said go hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt to buy a house that's too big for you to even really like live in. Society has said 
Go to college. Go $100,000 in a debt. Get a safe job with a good retirement plan so that when you're 95 years old, you can have a few, few nice years before you die. Society sucks, guys. <laughs> like, society is so freaking backwards, which is why this business is hard. Because society has programmed people not to care about health and not to spend money on health. Now, if you can get it for $10 a month and show up at the gym whenever you want, that's okay. But if you want accountability and good, healthy, whole foods, um, no, that's, that's not okay. You can't spend money on that. But here's the thing. I think someone might have unmuted themselves. Okay, they got themselves back. Here's the thing. January is the only time of the year that society says it's okay to get healthy and get in shape. It is the only time of the year that society is actually sending people our way. And me and Lauren were talking today, and I love what she said. If you have not started a convo with someone, and January 1 comes around, and they're having to be watching the Today Show, and the Today Show is talking about setting their New Year's resolutions, what's the first thing they're going to do? Are they going to go, hmm, I think I'll call Jessica. I think I'll call Jessica Chapman and, 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 and see if she's got a challenge pack on sale. Let's see what challenge pack's on sale this month. No, they're not. You know what they're going to do? If you have not started a convo with them, they are going to call up Planet Fitness. They're going to go to Tin Gym or, or you know, Gold Gym or whatever you guys have where you live. Where I have Planet Fitness every single January runs a deal where you can get a no contract deal $10 a month. And on Monday nights, I'm not even kidding you right now. You're, you're going you're gonna to like fall out of your chair. On Monday nights, they have CeCe's Pizza. Every Monday night at Planet Fitness, CeCe's is like in the same parking lot. It's like a buffet style pizza. It's like the cheapest of cheap pizza you can imagine. They have literally boxes of pizza lined up on tables that people can have when they're done working out. Like, what? Like, how is that even a thing? Like, me and my buddy went there because I was trying to help him, like, get on track with his goals a couple years ago. And on the way out, I'm, you're working out and smelling pizza. Like, I'm pretty sure on Monday nights, people work out for, like, five minutes, and then they go chow down on pizza, right? Can you really, like, run? I mean, I don't know how you can run on a treadmill for 30 minutes anyways, but can you, can you run on a treadmill for five minutes at all without not going and getting a piece of that pizza? I don't know how many of you have done P90X, but like Tony Horton is always dogging on running on the treadmill. I freaking love it. So here's the thing. November and December, they're tough. They are. Because nobody's thinking about health and fitness. You know what they're thinking about? Stuffing and gravy and putting as much of that cranberry sauce in their belly as they can. I'm talking on Thanksgiving Day, people are straight up People are straight up buying elastic band jeans. <laughs> I know those haven't been in style for a while, but they're straight up getting them, man. Everybody's wearing them yoga pants because they're expandable, right? Nobody even cares. And so some of you are frustrated because you're like, man, like my convos, they're not going anywhere. Like I'm doing everything I can in the world to try to close a freaking sale and nobody wants anything to do with me right now. You know what that sounds like? Sounds like my first year of business. My first year of business, nobody wanted to talk to me. Nobody. I'd go have, I'd buy people coffee. I'd buy people lunch. I'd buy people dinner. I would literally, my first year, would run a training group. One person would sign up for my paid training group. So then I would have to give away four or five spots so that the one person who paid wouldn't feel awkward when they show up to the training and it's just me and him. This struggle that you're going through right now, I went through it for a whole year, guys. And maybe some of you are in that boat where you've been going through it for a whole year. But can I tell you something? That struggle is going to end if you keep pushing forward. I like to think of it like a brick wall. And you've got a sledgehammer in your hand. And here's what most people want. Most people want a paper wall with a sledgehammer. Wouldn't that be nice if we were all given paper walls to bust through? 
But breaking through in a business is more like going through a brick wall. You have a sledgehammer and you hit that brick wall and you hit it and you hit it and you hit it. And it doesn't really, it doesn't really look like you're making any progress at all. Like maybe you're just chipping it a little bit. But eventually, you weaken up that brick wall enough that you give one really good pounce and you bust right through that freaking wall. And I'm telling you, when you finally bust through that freaking wall, momentum gets on your side and you will see things happen. I, I always say this, my, my first year of business when I had no momentum on my side, I would say, I, I think I can do this in about a month's time and then it would take like a year's time. But now that momentum's on my side, I come up with goals that I think will take an entire year and they happen in one month. That's the difference between having momentum and not having momentum. Things that you thought were impossible start to happen overnight. And that's what January is going to be for all of you. If, if you have momentum on your side, how do you get momentum on your side? You keep doing the thing that works. Or if it hasn't worked, the thing that successful people say works. And I'm telling you right now, the three vital behaviors are it. You keep being a product of the product. Tell you what, when January 1 comes around, people are going to say, man, I need to lose weight. You know what? I've noticed Amber has been posting every single day that she works out. I need to freaking call that girl because I get a little chubby over here with Thanksgiving dinner, you know, right? But what if you're not being a product of the product? What if you're not getting your workout in every day over the holidays? Why in the world would they call you if you haven't been consistent on your own journey? Number two, you got you to gotta start convos, man. Every single day. You want to know the easiest way to start a convo? This is actually something I learned from Emma. Um, I, Alexa uses it too. I actually use this exact same formula for my business, but the wording was a little different because obviously I wasn't on a health journey. If someone likes your health or fitness post, you simply message them and say, thank you so much for liking my picture. I appreciate your support and I'm so glad you sent good vibes my way. Are you on a health journey too? Now, did that sound salesy to anybody? No, but we just cut through all the dog crap and we got straight to, are you on a health journey? If they say no, I promise you, and I, I bet you money. If they say no, they'll feel the need to explain why. No one can say no, I'm not on a health journey and then not feel like they need to like explain themselves, right? No, I'm not on a health journey, but you know, I've been busy and you know, we've been like doing stuff and stuff has been busy. So I haven't really had time because of the stuff that I've been doing that's busy. Okay. That's great. You know what? I'd love to help you get on track. In fact, I do programs from home because I don't really have time to go to the gym either. Would you be interested in joining my next accountability group? where you can work out less than 30 minutes a day and get on track. Oh, man, I don't know. That, was, that seemed too easy, Josh. Like, can I really just do that? Yes, you can. What if they say, yes, I am already on a health journey. I'm already on a health journey. Actually, I lost 20 pounds. That's so awesome. I'm so glad you decided to invest in yourself. Man, I love meeting like-minded people. Have you ever considered paying it forward and helping other people on their health journey? Boom, coaching convo. It's that easy. Like, I swear it's that easy. I used to do the same thing. Anyone that liked my legacy leadership posts, I'd simply message if they liked them. Hey, I noticed you liked my post. Thank you so much for your support. I'm actually giving away five free coaching sessions this month. Would you be interested in having one of those? Now, I would have given away 5,000 coaching sessions if I could have found one, somebody to take them. I just, I just made up a number. I'm giving away five free coaching sessions. Like, doesn't that make you feel special? Like, it's not that hard. You just have to say something. And the thing about are you on a health journey too gets it down to like, it gets it there quick. So write that down, okay? If you've been struggling with convos, write that formula down. If you can't remember it, hop on at Q&A time at the end and I'll repeat it or message Emma or Alexa because they invented it, not me, okay? So, and then the last thing's personal development. 
you absolutely have to do personal development because every single one of us is insecure on the inside. Every single one, of, I don't care like how long you've been alive or how much success you've had, we all are insecure and have fears. Personal development is like your mental adjustment for the day. It gets you thinking right, it gets you talking right, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I want you guys to all write down these four words. Think, be, do, have. Write that down. Think, be, do, have. There's an ancient proverb that says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Here's the thing. The way you think in your head is a person you will be on the inside. The person you become determines the actions that you do. And the actions that you do will always produce the things that you have. Here's what we do in America. Canada, I'm sure you do the same. I don't know why I always say America. Here's what we do in Northern America. Um, we think this. If I could have five-star diamond, I'm just going to make something up. If I could have five-star diamond, then I could do like all of these like cool things like travel around the world and have my own private photographer and go to Hawaii. And then that would cause me to do like all the cool, successful things like reach out to people with confidence and, and post like glamorous pictures, like a big smile. And then I would be a successful person with successful thoughts. It never happens that way. If it could happen, if, if you could just have awesome things, why would we not all have them? Why would we not all be millionaires? Here's the problem we've all been tricked into. We've been tricked into thinking we have to have things before we can become someone, which has all of freaking society sittering around waiting to have, well, if I could just have a transformation like that person, then I could do, then I could start conversations with confidence. Then I could um, message people. If I could, if I could just have that kind of transformation, it doesn't matter what kind of a transformation you've had. I don't care if you've lost two pounds or you've lost 200 pounds. It's who you be on the inside. I know that's not proper English, but it's okay. Some of you are saying this, if I could have a successful business, then I'd be willing to talk about the coaching opportunity. Then I'd be willing to invite people to join my team because I would be confident, right? You cannot wait until you have things to act like it. You ever heard of fake it till you make it? What that really means is this. You need to think in your head like you are already successful, which will cause you inwardly to be that successful person, which will then react with doing successful things. And only when you do successful things will you be able to have the things that successful people have. I want you to think of any incredible athlete in the world. Did they wait till they had a championship ring to practice really hard? How about a musician? Did they wait till they had a, a record deal or a Grammy before they decided to practice their guitar? How about Sean T? Do you think he waited till he had his, a contract with Beachbody before he decided to get in shape? And I, just, I just really want to be a fitness trainer. If, if Beachbody would just give me a bunch of money to produce a workout program, man, I'd really get in shape. I mean, I would get some ripped abs and I'd get some huge jacked arms, man. If they would just, they just give me what I needed. That's not how it works. You have to be the person that will do the things that will cause you to have those things. You guys want to be a five-star diamond? then you need to inside be that person. You need to decide, 
right now. I'm going to message people like I'm a five-star diamond. I'm going to take selfies like I'm a five-star diamond. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm telling you right now, when I would go scrolling through Facebook, through my friend requests, looking for clients to reach out to, basically, I'm just going to give you my magic formula of how, uh, how I grew my business is once I got enough momentum going, I would get on Facebook and I would scroll through friend suggestions looking for someone with a really awesome profile pic. Because if I saw that, I'd be like, oh, that's a really successful coach. I'm going to message them because they can afford my service. Now, Lauren tricked me because she gave everybody a free professional headshot. So I'm going through seeing all these professional headshots. And I'm like, ooh, they look successful. Wait a second. They just signed up like two weeks ago. They just happened to go to Summit and got a professional. That's why it's so important to have stuff like that, guys, because it, it, literally, it literally changes the way people look at you. Like I saw some of your guys' headshots from Summit and I was like, dang, that girl, that girl looks like she's rocking her business. Like she's got to be super successful. But here's what some of you are doing. You're going, well, I'm not really like successful yet. So I don't want to try to have some like professional looking profile. I don't want to have some like cool, like I can't have a cool banner like that. Like, and, and, and this is what you look like when you take your selfies. Some of you look like this. Eh, eh, eh. And I can tell you don't believe in yourself. So why in the world would someone spend $150 to work with someone that doesn't believe in themselves? When I see someone, and I've seen it with some of you, I've seen the transformation with some of you. When I see someone that's got like a sparkle in their eye, and even in their selfies, I, I swear to you, you can see it. Even in their selfies, they're just like, Pah! like you can tell they found like their inner light. They found themselves and the light is on and they're no longer worried about what everyone thinks about them. They're just owning who they are. I'm telling you, I will reach out to that person in a second and have a conversation with them. If that person convos me and I go troll their page to see who the heck this person is, I'm going, dude, that person looks awesome. I want to talk to them. I don't even know what this Shaco, Shaco, well, I don't even know what that crap is, but this person, like I can tell they got something going on. So I need you to remember that. Think and act like you are a five-star diamond. If you're on this call and you're already a five-star diamond, I want you to think and act like you're a 10-star. Think and act like you're a 15-star because the only way you'll ever get to those places is if you think of yourself like that now. One of my mentors from afar, his name is Lewis Howes. He has a podcast called The School of Greatness. Man, that's what, that's what got me into personal development was listening to his podcast and I was just like blown away. And I made it my goal. One day, Lewis Howes is going to have me on his podcast. And I'm going to get to answer at the end of every, so basically what he does is he interviews really successful entrepreneurs. And at the end, he always asks them this question. Okay, before we go, I just need to know, what is your definition of greatness? And then that person gets to explain like there. And, and every single time I listen to his podcast, I'm like, I'm going to have an answer for you, Lewis, man. I'm going to, I'm going to be ready to rock that. I got my own definition of great. And, and that's how I think. Now, am I, on, am I on the school of greatness? No, at the time, I didn't even have a business. At the time, I wasn't even on the John Maxwell team. I didn't care, guys. It doesn't matter where I'm at today. I'm always thinking about the person I want to be a year from now, five years from now, 20 years from now. I'm working on a, a mini book right now. It's going to tell the story of kind of my teenage years and adult years and how I basically got to the point where I decided I wanted to start a business. I'm already thinking about being a New York Times bestseller. Now, my first book, I'm telling you right now, it's going to suck. It's probably going to be the worst book any of you have ever read. But I don't care because I got to start somewhere if I want to get somewhere. I don't care what the product looks like right now. I've already decided I'm going to be a successful person. You know what successful people do? They write books. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to write it just like I'm a best-selling author. And if everyone hates it, I don't, whatever, I'll, I'll write 20 more. I don't care. But you've got to get that in your mind. And I know for some of you, you're like, but I'm just, but I, no, listen to me for a second, guys. Listen to me, seriously. Every single one of you has greatness 
living on the inside of you. Every freaking one of you. And I don't care what you've been through. And I don't care what people have told you. And I don't care if people support you. I swear to you, greatness lives on the inside of you. And if you will believe in that, I swear to you, your freaking craziest dreams can come true. And some of you are looking at me like, well, that's easy for you to say. You mentor Lauren and you mentor Brittany and Sarah. Yeah, but my first year, I freaking mentored two people, guys. Come on. Don't give me that crap. Don't try to put me up on a pedestal because I work with cool people now. For my whole first year, I didn't work with anybody. Nobody. You want to know? I, I, bet you, I bet you everyone. I bet it was like an inside joke with everyone. Hey, have you got a message from that Josh kid? Apparently, he's giving away free coaching sessions. Like, I guarantee you, I was like the laughing stock of everyone that knew me. I didn't care. I didn't care. Because I knew uh, that greatness lived on the inside of me. And if I would just keep going, eventually, somehow, some way, I would find it. So I have a challenge to every single one of you to end this year stronger than ever before. Some of you are like one foot in, one foot out. And I want to challenge you tonight, put both feet in. I want to challenge you to just freaking dive in. What do you got to lose? We got a month and a half before January 1 hits. Here's the deal. If I'm a liar, you message me on January 31st and tell me what a freaking idiot I am, okay? But listen, if I'm right, if I'm right, your business is this far from blowing up. If I'm wrong, you lost a month and a half of your time and you can, I'll give you my phone number if you want. You can call and cuss me out. But I'm just asking you, six weeks, give it everything you've got. I want you, every single one on this call, if you're watching live or listening recorded, one, commit to a program. If you're wishy-washy on your health and fitness, get in an accountability group right now. Message someone tonight. Get an accountability group. Number two, I'm going to challenge you to post at least two times a day, but some of you can do more. I'm going to, I'm going to um, challenge you to shoot out at least three messages every single day to somebody with the formula I gave you tonight. Okay. And I'm going to challenge you to take 10 minutes every single day and either read something or listen to something. And here's the thing, whatever you struggle with the most in your business, get a book that deals with that. Lauren, I know has an incredible list of personal development books for like every category that you could ever, like she made up some new categories. I think she's got like a hundred book, like whatever you're struggling with. I swear to you, Lauren has resources for you. I swear to you. Okay. So that's my challenge to you to end this year as freaking hard as you can. And let's make January the sickest month you've ever seen in your life. And remember what I said at the beginning of the call, at the end of the day, it's about helping people. January, there's a whole lot of people that need your help. And I promise you, they're not going to get it at Planet, Planet Fitness where they're handing out pizza. All right? So think about this. Do you really want to help people? Now, you signed up for this company because you said you wanted to help people. Now, do you, do you mean that? Because if you really mean that, you will be a product of the product. You'll set the example. You will reach out to people. And you'll do some personal development to make sure you're bringing your A game and you're ready to help people. So that's my challenge to you tonight. Um, for any of you that don't already know me, come find me on Facebook. Shoot me a friend request. Would love to chat with you guys. Um, you can check out my website. It's joshuacoats.com. You can get more info um, about my training. But at the end of the day, man, you guys are all family to me. I'm not trying to sell everybody. You guys are all family to me. I just want you to do what I challenge you to do tonight. And if you need help, message me on Facebook. Let me know what you're going through, okay? Reach out to your upline coach. Let them know what you're going through, okay? If you guys need anything, seriously, I'm here. Um, Lauren, if, if we want to do Q&A, I've got like 10 minutes before I got to hop on another call if you want. 
Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. I, I took a bunch of notes and um, I was going to do a live giveaway or I was going to do a live giveaway on the call, but instead, everyone that's watching, I'm going to post a thread in the team page for you to share um, a takeaway from tonight's call. And um, then I will choose one of the people that shares a takeaway to win an extra special prize. Mm. So um, be sure to go comment over there. And if you guys have any questions, um, Josh is here another 10 minutes, pick his brain, anything, all, everything goes. So feel free to type in the chat box and um, let us know if you've got any questions or unmute yourself. I have a question. What's up, Shawana? Hi. So I want to ask you kind of like what Lewis House does at the end of a call. Like what is your <laughs> definition of greatness? <laughs> Good question, Shawana. Thank you so much. <laughs> so my definition of greatness is one of my favorite quotes that I have that I created, which is why it's one of my favorites, is your outward success is an expression of your inward growth. So my definition of greatness is when you grow so much on the inside that it literally explodes on the outside and takes over everything else in your life. So that's my definition. Hope you like it. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. I agree with that 100%. Can you post that quote on think, be, to be, do, to, think, be, do, to, do, think, be, do, have to your page? Um, sure. It sounds like you got it down. It's, I mean, that, that's the quote, think, be, do, have. Like, that's it. Yeah, and well, and, and like, that really hit home with me, too, because that's what I did. Um, and so just to elaborate on that a little bit more, if you guys are, yeah, think, it's think, do, be, have, right? That's the right order. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, so, like, you guys, the power of visualization is insane. Like, you need to visualize exactly what you want your life to look and feel like every single day. And that is what I did as a baby coach. I was constantly thinking, visualizing, and talking about where I was going to go with this business long before I actually got there. And um, the power of visualization is, is so real, but you can't just visualize it and like hope that it comes true. You have to let that visualization fuel your fire to do more and to do everything that it takes yeah. to reach that. And, and, that, and that's exactly what I did. It was like, oh my gosh, I had this dream and I, and I could feel it. I could feel myself living it. And I did what it took to live that. And like, now here I am living that dream and it, it's insane, but it started with like visualizing it long before it actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I still, to this day, before I speak, I mean, like I usually lay in bed the night before and like visualize the whole thing like two or three times. And like, it just like takes you there, like in your energy almost. And that's why like some people are like, dude, you're just like all over the place when you speak. Well, that's because that energy has been building up in me for like 24 hours. I'm just ready to like let it explode. <laughs> and so some of you need to visualize yourself like standing on stage at Summit if that's one of your goals. You need to visualize yourself. And, and this was actually something I meant to say, but I got a little like carried away with all my emotions is I also want you to, I tell coaches this coaches that like have teams of like 10 and 20, you know, I'll be like, here's the deal. I bet you a million dollars. If you had a hundred people on your team, you would show up with a totally different energy. So I actually have one of my clients. She, when she wakes up every morning, she, I, this is what she has to say. I, I gave her this as a homework assignment. I'm going to live today like a hundred excited coaches are waiting in my team page and cannot wait to hear what I have to say. Cause imagine if a hundred, if, if you knew you had a crowd of a hundred that were just literally sitting there, like, come on, give it to me. Like, give, give me what you got. You would be like, all right, cool. Like you would, you would bring this huge energy, but instead a lot of you are like, well, I only got two coaches. I don't know if they'll, I, I, don't, I don't care if you got two coaches. I don't care if you got one coach. I don't care if you got zero coaches. You need to act like you got a hundred that are so excited. They can't like, even when you're posting like just to social media for, for like uh, challenge packs and stuff, you need to pretend that a hundred people are sitting on the couch waiting for your next post. And they're just sitting there like just waiting for it. Why? 
because it'll make you post with like a sense of like excitement and energy instead of most of you are posting and you're like, I'm just going to like everyone annoyed with me and everyone's, and then guess what? That negative energy comes out. And then you're wondering why people don't reach out to you. It's because what's in here, it makes its way out. And you don't think it does, but I swear to you, even if you use a script, there's energy in the way you freaking type words. I, I, I know it sounds stupid, but I'm telling you, I mean, it's, it's real. Like what is going on in here? It's coming out of everything you do. So sorry, Lauren, I feel like I stole away that, but apparently my coffee's working. Oh, you're, you're all good. No, it's awesome. Um, yeah, you guys, like the, the reality is just be confident, be confident now. Don't wait for a rank or, um, to be making X amount of dollars or to be living this kind of life. Just be confident now because the reality is no one knows the difference between me and you. You know, you might be an Emerald coach or maybe just a new coach listening to this and, and in the beach body world, sure. I'm a five-star diamond and you're a coach, but, but outside on the street, we're both just coaches. We're health and fitness coaches out there changing, changing the world. The only thing that might separate us is I'm more confident in that, right? I own it. I'm proud of it. Yeah, this is what I do. I'm my own boss. But own it now. You don't need to be any rank or hit this level of success to own what you do because you're a life changer. Just by signing up and deciding that you're going to share your journey, you have decided that you are going to pay it forward and change lives just by being you and sharing your journey. So... Um, don't look like there's any other questions, is there? What I see? If you guys have anything else, feel free to chat in the chat box. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and wrap up tonight's call. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Josh, and sharing with us. I really appreciate it. And um, if you guys need help with anything in your business, reach out to your coach, your upline star diamond. And Josh is another great resource. He has many different tools that he can offer you to um, help you take your business to the next level. So, um, you know, if this is something you want, go out there and do it. Don't think about it. Do it. Go watch Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> All right. Not a, I, mean, I don't know that. Oh, you got to look. He's like, just do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> really good video. If you check out, if you check on the the Dragon Ball Z one, it's it's hilarious. Like I could just watch that video all day and night. Sorry, little off subject. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I love to rabbit trail too. I'm like Ooh, squirrel. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone. Actually, Josh, you want to take a picture before everyone? I think some people have already been hopping off. Can we take a group pic? Yeah, I took one earlier, but I'll I'll take another one where everyone actually knows it's coming. Yeah, let's all okay. Take your, Get your happy faces on. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, now let me get page two real quick because I, I don't know exactly who's on what page. So just pretend you're on page two, even if you're not, just in case, okay? One, two, three. All right, perfect. Got it. Okay, will you post that? Uh, or yep. send, will you send it to me? I'm going to post that picture in the team page. And then under that picture, you guys can share your takeaways from tonight's call. And one of you will be our lucky winner. Thanks again, Josh. Thank you all for being here. And we will see you next week. Next week's team call is going to be on Wednesday. And it's going to be on like pages. So be there or be square.